Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Again, had another little hiatus. I just was really busy, <laughs> really busy. Couldn't find time to film. I'm blonder. We're in a different location because it's dark and dreary outside, but I still wanted to film a review today because you all wanted to know my thoughts on Rare Beauty. So that is what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna be honest, when I first heard that Selena Gomez was partnering with Sephora to create a brand, I wasn't really interested. I was like, good for her, like, I think she's a really talented artist, um, but I'm not really like a dead set like fan of Selena Gomez. Um, I was interested to see what it was gonna be, but I wasn't like, ooh, I'm going to buy it until Trend Mood released the branding and product packaging and I immediately was like I'm in trouble I want everything it looks beautiful the packaging is just right up my alley in terms of like aesthetic and look and so I picked up a few things because I am basically a marketer's like dream like if you create beautiful packaging I'm like yes I need it <laughs> like what are the formulas eh, I just need the packaging Something that I did want to note before I like break it down in each product, um, I did want to say that the price point is really, really good, especially for being like a celebrity, also being carried at Sephora. It's literally about on par with the Sephora collection itself, which is usually like a cheaper brand in terms of like what brand Sephora carries. Um, so I was really pleasantly surprised just because being a Canadian, usually prices are quite a bit higher um, than they are in the States, but this, to me, I find extremely affordable. Um, it's not like drugstore price, but it's just a little bit above, and I think it's very, very reasonably priced. So let's go through each product. I only picked up four from the brand so far because I'm gonna be picking up more. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. I do, as a whole, enjoy this brand, but I will get into depth of like, which products are like my favorites, pros and cons with each one. So let's kind of go through each product that I have. The first one is the Liquid Touch Weightless Foundation. This is $38 and you get one fluid ounce, which is your standard size for a foundation. It comes in 48 shades, which is incredible. I'm so impressed with the shade range that she came out with. And I have shade 150C. Right off the bat, this color is like a dead on color match for me. I was a little scared because the pictures online, they're not the best. Like they they have a model wearing each color, but it's all in different lighting. So when something has, like it says it's cool tone, some of them look warm on the models. And so it was really hard to tell online. So I was really hoping that this was gonna work and it matches perfectly. Now the packaging is plastic, but to me that doesn't really bother me since it is a little bit less in price, um, if I was paying $50, I'd probably want it to be glass, but it doesn't bother me at all. I know that if it rolls off somewhere, it's not going to smash or anything like that. And it is really pretty packaging, even though it is plastic. It's kind of like a frosted plastic. And then the, um, the cap isn't like a matte or a shiny. It's just like a really nice, it doesn't look cheap. Like even though it's plastic, it doesn't look cheap. And I appreciate that. Something that I was so excited about with this foundation was that it has a doe foot applicator. I know a lot of people don't like doe foot applicators for their foundations. I personally love them. One of my favorite foundations that has been discontinued is the Physician's Formula, the Healthy Foundation. And I loved how easy it was to put the perfect amount of product on your skin because of the doe foot. And I feel the exact same way with this one. This formula, is very surprising to me. I think because the doe foot reminded me of the Healthy Foundation, I thought it was gonna be a little bit thicker and creamier like that foundation, but this is extremely thin, liquidy, very like, not slippy, because it doesn't feel slippy on your skin, but it's a very thin, watery consistency. Now, with that being said, even though it is very light and watery, the coverage is really amazing. It's a medium to buildable coverage, and I really love that I can cover up like unevenness and just like texture and different like discoloration, and yet you can still see my skin through it. If you've been around my channel, you know that's what I look for in every foundation. So this really does give a perfect amount of coverage while still making my skin look like skin. Now, the thing that I love so much about this foundation is that it applies and blends onto the skin effortlessly. 
I have never had a foundation blend out so quickly, so perfectly. It just, it takes seconds to blend out and you don't feel like I have to press my beauty blender for an extended period of time to get it really like the coverage that I need. It just, it's so fast, especially with the doe foot. I just, I love this formula, love the coverage, love how easy it applies. Very impressed with overall how it is. Now I did quickly wanna mention like finish on the skin. When I first used it, I used it with the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched um, Makeup Base, which is like a creamy, like thicker moisturizer primer. And I wasn't in love with the finish of it on my skin. It was a little bit more matte than I'd like. Not that it's a matte, like, finish it just wasn't as glowy as i'd like and i found it caked up a little bit around my nose so the next time i used it i decided to pair it with the glossier future do and it is incredible paired with a nice glowy base product so as you can see i'm wearing it right now obviously and it just gives a really nice glow without it not being like too in your face because this is a little bit more on the, like the natural matte finish so for my preference i do need to pair it with that glowy primer but i use glowy primers all the time so that's not really like a con for me yeah this foundation is really great i love the wear time i wore it all day yesterday and i had a baby shower and i had to go to the mall so i had to wear a mask for a long period of time and it didn't like wear off anywhere or like wear weirdly it just looked great throughout the day as i was wearing it i was sweating it stayed in place very impressed with this next up is the liquid touch brightening concealer this is $25 and you get 0.25 fluid ounces of product. And again, it has 48 shades to choose from. And I choose shade 150C to match the. This is $25 and you get 0.25 fluid ounces of product. And again, it has 48 shades to choose from. And I choose shade 150C to match the foundation. Now, right off the bat, I'm going to say, even though the foundation and the concealer say that they are the same color, they're not the same color. So basically they pair together nicely, but the concealer is significantly brighter. I know that the title of the concealer is brightening concealer, but I wish that they had like specified in the description that the concealer is going to be a couple shades brighter than the foundation itself. Just because I'm one of those people that I do prefer my concealer to just kind of be the same color as my foundation. Quickly just wanted to show you like side by side comparison. So as you can see, the foundation is a little bit darker than the concealer and the concealer even though it's still cool toned it's a little yellow in comparison to the foundation itself um but i did want to talk a little bit more about like the brightening effects of this concealer like i mentioned i'm not one to wear a brightening highlighting concealer so i was a little scared of trying this one just because i'm usually not a fan of them but this is such a beautiful concealer the shade is amazing it is brightening and it is lighter than i usually go for but it doesn't look like stark or unnatural it blends into the foundation so beautifully that's one of the reasons why i don't really go for brightening or like highlighting concealers is because usually you can tell where the concealer and the foundation like meet while with this concealer it just brightens under the eye and then blends into the foundation so nicely something that i love so much about this concealer is the doe foot i love the shape of it i was so surprised because doe foots aren't necessarily something that i'm like obsessed with or that i notice in a concealer but this the shape of it it just fits in your inner corner so easily and it distributes the perfect amount of product i find with concealer i'm either putting too much or too little on and this distributes just the perfect amount that i need to cover my like under eye area but not like be cakey throughout the day now the concealer itself love two bits i love this formula it's not overly dewy it's not matte or drying it's just a really nice natural finish that adds brightening it doesn't like cake up under the eyes or crease i do get subtle creasing like right on my lower lash line but i get that with every concealer just because i'm 29 and those fine lines are really coming in strong but in my other areas that sometimes the fine lines can be a little bit more exaggerated this doesn't at all. It doesn't crease in weird places. It doesn't like 
wear in a weird way. It's just, it's, it's a really good concealer. I'm very impressed and I was shocked at how much I loved it just because it is a brightening, like highlighting concealer and those aren't usually my favorite, but this concealer, it's such an amazing formula, color, coverage. I really love this concealer. Next, let's talk about some blush. So this is the Soft Pinch Liquid Blush, and this is $26, and you get 0.25 fluid ounces of products, which I find was interesting that you get the same amount as the concealer, but it's a dollar more. So I just found that kind of interesting. I don't know why they did that, but maybe it's like the gold cap needed an extra dollar. Who knows? I still think it's an affordable price, though, so I'm not like complaining that it's like super expensive. It's just a dollar. I just thought I would add that in. So this comes in eight shades and two finishes. They have four matte and four dewy, and I got the shade Bliss, which is in the matte formula. Now, the reason why I picked up this one, even though I do prefer like a dewier blush, is that I was really drawn to the color. I found that the other colors were a little bit more on the loud and bright side, which I don't mind, but I just really loved this soft kind of nudie peach tone. So just like the foundation and the concealer, this is applied with a doe foot. And the doe foot's very interesting because it's kind of like a little round and flat, but it does apply a really good amount of product too. Now, if you've watched any reviews on Rare Beauty, you will know that these blushes are insanely, insanely pigmented. But because this one is more of like a softer color, it's not as like hard or scary or anything like that. It's very easy to work with. I usually apply two, sometimes three dots on each cheek and I don't feel like it's too much product and then I feel like I look like a clown. It just kind of blends really quickly and easily into the skin. Now what surprised me about this blush is that even though it is one of the matte finishes, it doesn't look matte or powdery on the skin. It's got more of that natural finish and it just looks so beautiful. Again, just like the foundation and the concealer, this wears so gorgeous throughout the day on the skin. I'm not wearing any highlight today and you can see like my cheeks still have that pretty little glow. They've got that nice nude peach color to them. It's a beautiful blush and just like the foundation, it blends in like two seconds. Yeah, I really like this formula. I won't be picking up other colors just because again, like I said, the other colors, I'm not really drawn to them, but I really, really loved this like nude kind of peachy tone. Um, and I just, yeah, I just think it's a really pretty like everyday, slightly bright kind of a blush color. Okay, and then the last product I picked up is their With Gratitude Dewy Lip Balm. This retails for $21 and you get 0 0.1 ounces of product and they have eight shades and I got the color empathy. Something that I found was very odd is that they used the word dewy in the title. I just think it's weird because I'm like usually you don't use dewy when you're describing a lip. Usually it's like a cheek or face product. So I don't know why they added the dewy when you know it's going to be hydrating because it's a lip balm. So I'm not really sure why they needed to add dewy in the title as well. So this lip balm is very interesting because it's very hydrating like a lip balm, but I wouldn't describe it as a lip balm. This is more of a shiny lipstick to me. Like it's very reminiscent of the L'Oreal Color Riche lipsticks just because it does have a fair bit of pigment, but it is still very hydrating. I really love the color empathy that I got. It's like this kind of dusty rose. It's so beautiful and I love how it wears throughout the day. I've been wearing it for about an hour now and it's not as like dewy as they like to say. I find it so weird calling my lips dewy, but you know what I mean? Like the shine has faded a little bit, but the color is still there and it's just, I really, really love this color, especially for fall. I feel like I'm gonna reach for this color a lot. Now, something that I did wanna note is that this packaging, Rob to Christie mentioned it and I was still surprised when I got it how like flimsy this whole situation was. So you have the cap and the base and it's a magnet closer. So like it's a magnet, but it like flips around so easily. Like it doesn't stay firm. So this is the kind of product I would not put in my handbag at all. I mean, luckily we're wearing masks, so it's not like I need to be bringing lip products in my bag, but it's one of those that like the cap can easily come off. So like travel, probably not 
the best product to bring, even though, like I said, who's traveling now anyway. But another thing that is kind of cool about the packaging is that they designed this flat top so that if you put it on like a nightstand or a table, it's not gonna roll away. I can very much appreciate that because there's nothing more frustrating than putting a tube on a table and it's like rolling around everywhere and you're trying to grab it and it's just a mess. So I do love that little flat side that kind of like you put it down, it stays put. So yeah, this is a really pretty formula. I love how hydrating it is, but it gives such a beautiful amount of color at the same time. And yeah, I really like the color empathy in particular. So yeah, as you can tell, I enjoy all of these products. I really have been enjoying the formulas of them and I'm definitely gonna be picking up more products from the line just because I really do think that every product is very intentional. I like that she came out with a line that wasn't like an abundance of products. Like, yeah, there's a lot of things to choose from, but it's not like, it doesn't feel like random. Like they all feel like products that like are true to Selena and I really appreciate that. So out of the four products that I tried, even though I do love them all, the two that are a standout product to me are the Brightening Concealer and the Liquid Blush. I just love the formula of these. I love how they wear. I wore them with a different foundation a couple days ago and I loved how they applied then as well. I just feel like they're products that I'm gonna be using on the daily a lot and I probably will reach for these the most out of the other two products even though again I do like those other two products as well I just think that these will be in my like daily rotation a lot more all right so those are all my thoughts I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for you all if you've tried anything from rare beauty let me know in the comments what products you have tried what you've liked what you haven't we can just kind of talk about it in the comments but if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me and I will see you all in my next one bye guys